Hello YouTube, I'm back with the next toy review and today I have the Dentum Kia pullback toy. And as you may not may or may not know, Dentum Kia was in with the was in the last few series of Robot Wars, series six and seven, I believe. Built by Mike Lamberts, who also entered Spitfire and BattleBots, which is very similar to this, except in a different paint job, slightly different uh, design overall. But this is one of the last pullbacks to actually be released, which is why it's really rare. If you look on eBay, you'll find it generally at a pretty high price. I was lucky enough to get one myself. What's really nice about it is the fact that unlike most of the pullbacks, where you can't get underneath the opponent, this one you can. Light is very low to the ground, and what's even better is the fact that the flipper is not is not like the Chaos 2 pullback or any other flippers. It's just using your finger, which is great. I mean, even if that means the little fin on top, which I don't think it was actually part of the real robot, that's fine. That's a very minor setback. So obviously, yeah, it's really well, really well made. They even managed to get the name on top. And he even made an assemblance of where the little wheel, that little extra wheel at the back would always be. They made it better, actually, it's more like solid. I took mine, took the pullback motor out of mine. But I guess consequently made it just a little higher off the ground, but hey, it makes for an edge. It's still, still pretty low to the ground. Most can't get underneath. Yeah, I only took it out because of the pullback motor. I don't, I don't like, I like to have them battle the way they would on the show. Just can't really go backwards with a pullback motor in there, but... But yeah, this is really well done. So, unlike the Chaos 2 pullback, which obviously had a button that was prone to breaking, and it did on mine. In fact, even the latch on that one would break, apparently. Although I don't think I was even aware that there was even a difference in that one. But this toy is way better. This is what should have been. All the flippers should have somehow been this way, even if that meant deterring just a little bit from the actual model, but this is very well done. It's probably the best pullback in competitor lineup thus far. I mean, I mean, even got the detailed little uh, little uh, bulldog, whatever it is on that on that front panel there. It's right next to the flipper on this side. Nope. All right, it's really a little easier if I do it there. Yeah, right where this. Right where this finger is. That's, I mean, that's good detail right there. I mean, BattleBots couldn't even get that right with the with the pullbacks on their side. Or the minibots. The minibots, I mean, remember Mahler back when I showed that? There was nothing on it. It was completely blank. It was all just a gray dot. I mean, how lazy is that? And they still managed to get it with the spin bots. They actually had more detail on them. And those were even smaller. So yeah, you even got details on the side here. They got the little uh, bolts, if you will. I don't know if you can see it that well on here, but there are little tiny dots of plastic on there. There's a couple on the bottom. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, they're just barely visible on the right. Yeah, a little bit there, mostly on the side there. The one might have a little bit better. I mean, I didn't get this brand new when I got it on eBay. I didn't get it. I didn't want any of the. Uh, Accessories or anything. I just, I just wanted the the, the uh, pullback itself, or lack thereof now. But yeah, this is hands down. I think probably the best pullback ever made out of the lineup. So that's my review. 